Am I the a-hole for how I reacted to my brother-in-law lying to my sister? So I am 26 male. My sister is 28 female. My brother-in-law is 30 male, and my wife is 28 female. So my wife is seven months pregnant, and she has some complications relating to the pregnancy. So keeping her calm is harder and more of a priority than it would normally be. But two weeks ago, she was told her father died, so I have been helping her grieve. But my sister recently, she told me a week ago she found out a bit before that, but didn't tell me. Found out she had breast cancer. But the thing is, brother-in-law was apparently, foreshadowing, on a very important three-month-long business trip. So she wasn't able to reach him, because he was apparently very busy, so he only texted her supportive messages when she wanted and needed a lot more. So she came to me. Having to almost literally fully take care of both of them, I was tired and stressed. So one day while my sister was finding support groups and my wife was helping with planning the funeral, it was supposed to be a close family affair, so I wasn't a big part of it. I went to go to a bar with friends. We're all vaccinated and restrictions are being lifted for vaccinated people here. And was just venting to a friend who works at the same company as brother-in-law. It's a local one that has grown pretty well. And when I mentioned it, he said that the company had no business trips going as off now. And I lost my crap. I asked my friend to call him. And because my friend works at the company, he answered and I asked him where he was. He played dumb. And I said that I knew he wasn't on a business trip. So he came clean and said that he wanted to go to a friend's house and party as COVID restrictions were finally up. I started screaming at him and told him that his wife was diagnosed with breast cancer. And he prioritized partying with his friends more? Told him he's a scummy, horrible person. He yelled back that I'm selfish for only caring about my stress right now. I retorted with he's selfish for not going back to his wife. And yelled numerous obscenities and told him I would be telling my sister when she calmed down. He yelled at me saying I'm a jerk for not letting him have his own time before hanging up. My friend says I'm in the right, but I still feel like I could be an a for yelling obscenities at him. So am I the a Now for the top comments. Not the a Your brother-in-law sucks. He has abandoned his wife for months to party when he knows his wife is in the midst of a medical crisis. A weekend would be bad enough, but three months? I was thinking something similar. A weekend would be fine, but three months is BS. If I'm getting the timeline right, he planned his trip before the diagnosis and felt the need to not only lie, but go away for such a long time. Where the hell is that money coming from? Are there not better things to spend it on? There are clearly some issues here, and even without the diagnosis, I would say either brother-in-law needs to change or she should drop him. Not day hole. Part of being a good caregiver slash supports your family and friends self-care. You were clearly dealing with some stress, and this one night off was for you to regroup and re-energize. I know science slash medicine has come a long way from even a decade ago, so I'm optimistic about your sister's medical situation. Also, congrats on the new upcoming addition to your family. Not a day hole. Sounds like he's staying with a friend and still working, so money wouldn't really be any different other than meals. This is crazy. And I hope he definitely needs to tell his sister so she can leave this loser. Not day hole. Just an FYI, he was out cheating. He was definitely shacking up with someone else. It was no party to be had, my friend. A three-month-long business trip? Yeah, but he had a three-month-long relationship. Yep. One, no parties three months. Two, you can answer your phone if he was just partying. He's definitely with someone else and is hiding it. Not day hole. Without the cancer diagnosis, lying to his wife about fake business trips is scummy. Partying both during COVID, restrictions may be easing, but they are not gone. And while lying to his wife is scummy. The cherry on top is when he finds out his wife has breast cancer, his first thought is Opie is the selfish one for yelling at him. No, he deserves that thrashing. And I hope your sister doesn't let him off easy. Now for the next story. Am I the a-hole if I go on a trip without my paralyzed twin sister? My twin sister and I, 25 female, were the very best of friends growing up. Did everything together. Spent every minute together. We recently celebrated our birthday. We were originally going to go on a trip that would have us hiking, camping, exploring, and doing other outdoorsy things we've never done because we grew up in the city we live in now. Last year, my sister was in an accident that left her paralyzed. She's in a wheelchair, and she'll never walk again. 
Obviously, this changed her life in ways I'll never understand. But I cried with her and spent all my free time. I go to med school in this city with her when it happened. As she started healing, she started being very cold towards me. It was clear she wasn't happy that I was able to do things she couldn't, which I fully understand. She was getting nastier and nastier with her comments until I decided to give her the space she needed. It breaks my heart that we aren't as close as we once were, but I know she's going through so much. When our birthday approached, my father asked us how we would like to celebrate, and my sister said she wanted to go to a museum and dinner. She mentioned trying a camping trip in a few years when she was more used to her chair. We celebrated how she wanted and had a great time. She enjoyed herself, so I was happy. And beknownst to me, my boyfriend, also in med school, dating for three years, has met my family and they all love him. Planned a trip for the two of us, him plus me, to go to his hometown area. Said trip would include camping and hiking, but the point of the trip was to see his hometown and his brothers, his only living family members, both of whom I've never met. He had no idea my sister and I had wanted to go camping, etc. My sister was furious when she found out about the trip and will not speak to me, take my calls, or listen to my parents try to talk to her about me. I did explain to her everything I said in the previous paragraph, but it made no difference to her. My parents have told me to go on the trip and that my sister will eventually get over this feeling, but the fact that my twin sister, who was the other half of me for 24 years, wants nothing to do with me has me feeling pretty low. I know the trip means a lot to my boyfriend, who has said we can cancel, but I feel like that would make me an a-hole to him instead. The trip would be in early June, so I can't wait it out too much longer and do need to make a decision. I was speaking to a nurse friend at my hospital, and he recommended I post here to get insight, but I did make a throwaway and change some slight detailing. Am I the a-hole if I go on this trip without my sister? Edit. Part of what got cut out was how my boyfriend told me. It was at a dinner in which my sister and parents were present. Also, we are identical twins. Not today, Hull. It is a tragedy what happened to your sister. However, it does not mean that you have to stop doing everything that brings you joy because she is no longer able to. It is certainly difficult for your sister now, but sooner or later she will need to come to terms with it. I hope she does. Also, that she's seeing someone for these feelings. I know it's common to do so after you've been in a traumatic accident, and if she's not ready, she should. Not day haul at all. You are your own individual. Of course, it's all right for you to go on a trip with your boyfriend, without your sister. If your sister has a problem with it, it's clearly issues on her side. Nothing you can do. It would be crazy to cancel. The trip had nothing to do with your sister from the start. If you cancel, you're only going to be validating that your sister had a right to be angry, which she absolutely does not. Not day haul. Your boyfriend didn't intend to be cruel. He just included activities that he knew you were interested in, and it happened to hit on a sore subject. Unfortunate, but not intentional. Go on the trip, meet his brothers, and take note of the things that, someday, you might be able to share with your sister. In the meantime, has your sister seen a therapist? If she hasn't, please talk to your folks about broaching that subject with her. It sounds like she's gone through more than she can navigate on her own, and a professional could help with that. She hasn't seen a therapist, and she will not listen to anyone's suggestions that she should. My mother and father have both tried, and her doctors have recommended it, but she doesn't like when people acknowledge she even has the chair. I think she has a long way to go before she'll really consider therapy. Next story is titled... Am I the a-hole for not respecting my dad's wishes and inviting my ex-step-siblings to our baby shower? My wife is pregnant with our first, and last week was our baby shower. I, 28 male, have two ex-step-siblings, though we still consider each other siblings. Sarah, 28 female, and Mikey, 26 male. My dad and their mom got together when I was 10, and their mom was awful. Not just to meet my sister, but to them too. She never cared about any of us. My dad worked all the time, so most of the time she left us alone so she can go out and have fun. Cheat on my dad with her many boyfriends. Because we were home alone all the time, we bonded a lot. Watching movies until 3 a.m., making dinner for ourselves or helping each other with our school. Mikey is dyslexic and my ex stepmom never bothered with him, so we had to help him the most. Their mom was mean to all of us, so that made us bond even closer have that level of understanding that we were all going through. 
My dad finally saw her true colors and how toxic slash abusive the marriage actually was when I was 15. It was an ugly divorce and my dad wanted to be completely cut off from her, so we weren't able to see each other as much. He basically banned us, but we still hang out after school. By the time we were adults, my sis and I told dad he can't control who we can slash can't spend our time with, so he knows we're still in contact with our step-siblings. They were at my wedding. My dad wasn't because he was out of the country. And now with my wife pregnant, I want them to be involved in our son's life as uncle and aunt. They want that too and are super excited to meet him. Before when we were planning the baby shower, my dad asked, you're not inviting them, are you? I told him yes, and he didn't take that well. We'd had this argument before. He hates that I still involve them in my life when they, according to him, have no business. And again, I said to my dad, it's my life and my family's life, and I want them involved in it. On the day of the baby shower, when they showed up, my dad was ignoring them and in a bad mood. He left early with his wife, and then he called me up later to tell me what a cruel son he thinks I am for not respecting the fact that he doesn't want reminders of his past failed marriage when he's trying to enjoy a celebration for his grandson and tired of me putting them first over his emotional health. So I know the divorce took a huge emotional toll on him and it was hard coming to terms with the reality of how awful my ex-stepmom truly was to all of us, including him. I get that being hard, but I don't feel that's my step-sibling's fault. They don't even have a relationship with her anymore. But to him, they're still reminders of that time, and it upset him seeing them at a baby shower. Was I Nahal for still inviting them knowing he wasn't comfortable with it? Now for the comments. Not Nahal. Your step-siblings aren't responsible for their mother's behavior. You are showing way more maturity than your father by keeping a relationship with them. He needs to stop making things all about him and move on when the divorce was years ago. You divorce wives, not children. Not today, Hull. Not today, Hull. Your siblings were innocent in all of this, and your dad is the a-hole for holding it against them. For real, though, there is only one person in the wrong here, and it's sure as hell not Obi. Not today, Hull. One of the great things about adulthood is you get to choose your family. You got two great siblings out of a horrible situation, and you have every right to keep them as part of your family. It's too bad your father didn't see it as an opportunity to gain two awesome kids, but that's his problem and not yours. Not today, Hull. Your father abandoned you with a woman he later learned was terrible, and he still can't feel anything for anyone but himself. To him, it's a failed marriage, but for you and your siblings, it was years of neglect and cruel treatment. He doesn't get to choose when he is a parent, and he doesn't get to determine who your family is. Last story. Am I the a-hall for telling my dad to stick his present up his behind? So I, 16 female, am still living with my parents. Their wedding anniversary is in a few days, and I gift them a handmade present every year. This year, I wanted to make a collection of canvas paintings for them. I am very busy nowadays, therefore I wanted to do this quickly in and go on my only free day of the week. Unfortunately, my parents chose that day to do gardening work. I told them beforehand that I was busy and couldn't help them. My father was a bit grumpy about that, but let it slide. So I started at 7 a.m. and finished at 5 p.m. So basically, I was painting upstairs in my room all day. After cleaning up, I walk downstairs and tell my dad that I've got time to help my mom now. He doesn't respond. I ask if everything is fine, and he says, why wouldn't it be? So, of course, something is up. He dances around the issue for a while, until he tells me that he's disappointed in me for not helping them. I argued that I told them I was busy. We go back and forth for a while, until he yells, asking what could be so important. At that point, I felt simply invalidated, no matter if he knew what I was doing or not. So I just yelled back that I was making their wedding anniversary present, and he could stick it up his behind when he receives it, because that was the last time I'd hand make a present for either of them. I stormed upstairs and that was about it. I'm definitely not proud of what I said, even less knowing that my mom hates his fighting. But on the other hand, I feel like no matter what I do, something is always wrong. Am I the a -hole? This is called miscommunication, and the end result is a normal family BS. You and your dad are not a -holes. You are humans, and you had a different perspective because you had different information. You should have told him what you were up to at some point, so he would not be boiling all day. 
No a-holes here. Talk to your dad and say, I want to discuss what happened yesterday and see if we can make amends. You decided to make a complicated, time-intensive gift in one day. You decided to refuse when asked with a vague I'm busy. You decided to get upset and rude when asked what you were doing. You decided to be evasive and expected him to know what you were doing. You decided to act like a brat and throw a fit when he did successfully read your mind and praise you for being so considerate. The words, I'm working on your anniversary gift would have solved everything. But then you wouldn't have had a reason to complain about your mean dad who yelled at you when you were doing something nice for him, would you? You're the a-hole. Yeah, this is pretty much it. As soon as dad started getting upset, letting him know she was busy making their presents would have ended it. I can cut a 16-year-old some of slack for not having great communication skills. Half of these AITA posts occur because adults have poor communication skills. No a-holes here. It's the kind of thing where the child wants to surprise the parents with a gift but not spoil it by giving it away that is for them. And the parents thinking that the child is just trying to get out of doing work, slash chores around the house, or thinking the child's business is not as important as their request to do something. Miscommunications happen. If you had a history of getting out of doing things for your parents by doing this, it's probably why he reacted this way and will change my judgment accordingly. But I'd say no a-holes for now. Edit. Thank you for all your comments, feedback, and critique. I've spoken to my parents and sincerely apologized for being a mouthy brat. My dad and I agreed to solve our communication issues better and try to be less confrontational than our usual selves. The current situation seems to have taken toll on us.